this video we'll review how to customize the course average and folder average columns that are automatically built in to every My Language Lab course. The examples shown in this video apply to any user using a My Language Lab in the 2012 and 2013 release. In every My Language Lab course in your online gradebook, you will have a built-in column called course average. And in each folder of your gradebook, there is a built-in column called folder average. Automatically, this column and folder average columns are automatically available inside your course and set to default settings, which we explained in the previous video on the course and folder average columns. This video is focusing on how to customize these columns. There are two types of customizations you can make to these columns. Typically, instructors may want to change the name of the column. So instead of it saying course average, it may say homework average or SAM average. And you can also customize what exactly this column will calculate. And you get to choose. To make either one of these changes, you'll need to go to your preferences in the upper right hand corner of every My Language Lab course. So please do the following steps. Click on preferences. And from Preferences in the main screen, on the left-hand side, choose Grading from the menu. And once you're in Grading, go to the fifth box down and select the blue hyperlink called Edit Calculation Settings. This will allow me to customize the course and folder average columns only in my gradebook. Any other settings will not be changed in my online gradebook. Click on the link and a new window will open. What you're seeing right now is the default settings, and so this particular um, columns in the gradebook will calculate the average of any assigned activities of all activity types. This is where you can then decide to have certain activity types still assigned, but not included in this average. We'll go over that in just a second. I also want to show you where you can change the name of the column. And if you're okay with the default settings of what the column calculates, and you simply just want to change the name of the column, come to this box, and inside the little box, you can actually adjust the name. Typically, instructors will change this name to make sense for the student. For instance, if you're requiring homework inside the My Language Lab course on your student syllabus, you might want to call this column the same name you give their online homework grade in your syllabus. Some instructors will only assign student activities manual activities in the course. If that is you, you might want to change the name of this to SAM average for your students. Again, this column will calculate a cumulative average of any chapter SAM. Or some instructors, if you're assigning different types of activities in the course, so maybe SAM activities and some eText activities, so you might want to call this homework average. Or if this was a My Spanish Lab course, some instructors call this MSL average. Or you could do MFL average for French and so on. This is completely up to you, but this will be the name your students will see as their cumulative average of assigned work inside their My Language Lab course. So just keep that in mind. I'm going to change this to homework average. If, and if that's all you need to do, you could then just click save and your settings will be saved. If you would like to adjust what types of activities will be included in this homework average or course average, you can do so by selecting select activity types. If you notice, all the different activity types that are available in your course will appear and they'll be checked. And so this means that if you've assigned any of these items, if they're assigned, then they will that score that was that's recorded in the gradebook will be included in that course average column. If you are assigning something that you do not want to have included in the average, but you'd still like it to be on the calendar and accessible to your students via the calendar, you can simply just uncheck any of those items. So for example, maybe I'm assigning online tests and extra practice and practice tests in my course, as well as SAM activities. But in my syllabus, I'm only requiring them to do SAM activities and waiting that 20% of their grade. So I'll, what I'll do is I'll come in and uncheck the types of activities that I know I'll be assigning to the calendar, 
but that I do not want those scores to be included in the average of these columns. Again, their grades will still be in the columns of the individual activities themselves, and the student would still see these activities on the calendar. If something is checked and you're not assigning it, then there's no, nothing to worry about. Um, those grades are still recorded in the gradebook, but it would not be included in this average because it wasn't something that you assigned. Once you're done adjusting your settings, you can come down to the bottom and click Save. Your settings will be updated, and you can close the window. And I always like to also click Save on the main preference window. And when you go back to your gradebook, if you change the name of the column, the name of the column will be reflected in your gradebook. If you had any grades already flowing to the column, you can adjust and customize this column at any time during your semester, even if there are grades flowing in. After you adjust any settings, the column will recalculate at the next update of that column, and you will see the change in the grades reflected then. This concludes how to customize the course and folder average columns in your online gradebook.